Glick, G-L-U-E, with the umlaut C-K. I was educated at Western Virginia University in Denver, Colorado, with extensions in Manchester, New Hampshire, and uh, Montpelier, Vermont. I also was uh, educated at the Mayo Clinic, and uh, well, not the one in Rochester, Minnesota, but the uh, Mayo Clinic, a little clinic in uh, Toledo, Ohio, on the shores of Lake Erie. We studied the effects of sun-ripened mayonnaise on summer, summer picnickers to see how soon they might vomit. It was kind of a cyclical thing. They got sick, we sent them more mayo, build the insurance, and round and round she went. That's the extent of my education. Thank you for coming tonight for the appointment. I appreciate that. I want you to know I am an educated man, as I just indicated. Uh, history is something I've always uh, liked. I'm very aware that, for instance, Napoleon was defeated at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815 by Duke Ellington. <laughs> Tonight's lecture, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is going to be on a very sensitive subject, a procedure known as colonoscopy. I am your quintessential friendly neighborhood proctor doctor, as my friends like to call me. Now, I'll try not to make this your run-of-the-mill medical lecture. Boring, same old thing over and over again. I'll try not to make it monogamous. <laughs> Let me write it down tonight. Bear with me. The subject of drive-through colonoscopies, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Something that the American Medical Association chooses not to certify me for. They repudiate all my repeated repudiations on uh, any repudiation. And uh, I try my best. I want you to know tonight that uh, all my patients, every patient that goes through a drive-through colonoscopy is administered ready with. I carry ready with two cans in every, uh, every uh, uh, procedure. Nitrous oxide is the drug of choice. That is my uh, anesthesia. Every patient, thank you, every patient must be uh, uh, brought through McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, Taco Time. We hit the speed bumps hard to kind of lull them to sleep and uh, so to speak to get the colon rolling. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Every prospective patient must realize, must realize that he or she is going to be fitted for diapers for future incontinence problems. That's the, uh, that's the tease. They believe they're being fitted for diapers, all right? Now one thing's very important. This is the main tool that I use in my procedure. The rear view mirror. <laughs> I use it exclusively. It works wonders. And you never discuss fees, never discuss fees with the patient until the procedure is underway. Right? You've got them, so to speak, bent over a barrel at that point. That's what we decided to do. The good news, just a minute, hear me out. The good news is uh, there's no flushing the system out the night before. It's all a shock. It's not as shocking. You don't have to go through a, a, a gallon of colates. We don't do that, it's all shy. The, and more good news, I need to tell you this, it's important. The AMA is mad at me because I'm costing them money. You do not have to use your medical insurance for this procedure. You use your auto insurance. <laughs> and there's a sign that I like to put up. Thank you so much. There's a sign I like to put up in my vehicle. Think about this one, folks. It may be a little too deep for some of you, including myself. It says, medical procedure in progress, not a lunar module. Uh -huh. lunar module. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm trying to bring pro procto and colonic care to the people, ladies and gentlemen. I, 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 I come out of a sensitive, sincere heart tonight. I truly do. Uh, I want to mention one other thing. I wasn't going to share this, but uh, I think I will. Everybody understands we always use the rear seat, strictly the rear seat, and we look for a good tailwind to kind of move the procedure along. Are you waiting for the clock to end? This is important. 